Tony from CassetteComeback.com and today we've got a two for one special. Yes, it's more Spanish tapes, but again, I'm out there trying to find you the good deals on the under the radar tapes for you guys that actually break them open and want to record on them. Now, I've already done videos on these, the Tudor CR, basically BASF in there, and the Socky Mag DC2, which we think is Agfa. So, looking a bit more and going to my contacts, I found these. More Socky Mags, but these obviously look quite a bit newer, newer I should say, not newer, newer, than uh, these ones, which are very 80s. These ones, I'm thinking, are 90s. So, what do they actually look like? Well, they look like this. And I think this is a really nice looking cassette. Yeah, it's a screwed shell, but it's a nice smoked shell. It's got black hubs, the BASF style hubs which are in the Tudors, and of course BASFs, the black reels there, the red sticker. Yeah, I think this is a very understated and nice cassette. But the thing I like about this was when I opened it, I always have a sniff. This has the smell of a pure chrome, whereas the, the Tudor and the Socky Mag here, they didn't. These do. These have the crayon smell, but it's not, say, a massive whiff like, say, a BASF Chrome Maxima or other pure chromes, but it's definitely there, which leads me to believe these may be late BASF Cobalt Doped Chrome. Now, if we look at the back of the pack, it says here, see it? See if we can get the camera to focus. Dual coating tape developed from magnetic particles of chromium dioxide and cobalt. So yeah, it says here, these are cobalt dope chrome. Now, why is cobalt dope chrome good? Cobalt dope chrome is good because it was something that was developed because, as we've already established, pure chromes in Japanese decks without any manual calibration facilities don't sound good. So BASF got a bit fed up of this and wanted to sell more tapes, so they decided that they were going to cobalt dope the chrome tape so that it would be more compatible with the biasing of, say, the TDK SA. Indeed, if you look at their... Um, reference Maxima chromes, they're cobalt doped as well and towards the end the CS2 etc they were cobalt doped as well so we've got here BASF hubs, a kind of chrome smell but cobalt doped. This could be a very very interesting tape. Now while I'm at this point I want to mention these tapes the ATR magnetic ones. Now there's lots of people saying, oh, look, look, a big hi-fi store seller, Thoman, they sell these. Wow, look at them. Yeah, these are the ones. Here's a picture. Bing. Do you see the price of that? €6.40 plus shipping, if you're in the UK anyway, for the tape. And they're saying these are filled with BASF Pro tape, new old stock, €6.40 a piece. So... These, I believe, have the same tape in them. And yet I'm selling these in a three pack for less than £10. So yes, this is a blatant advertising video, but for you that tape out there, great value compared to these ATRs. In fact, so are the Tudors. But um, enough of my self-promotion. Let's see if these are actually any good. So I'm going to use a dragon for this because I want to try and make a, the most of this lovely looking cobalt dope pure chrome and I'm going to record this hotter than I would normally record a pure chrome which I usually keep to around zero. I'm going to record this around plus three which is where I would normally record something like an SA or another ferro cobalt type two. So let's see if it can handle it without distorting. This track is from the YouTube royalty free library and it's called Bravado.
Pixel Plus 3, I didn't really hear any distortion there. Lots of bass, lots of treble. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, so how much more performance would you like for a cassette that you can get three of for £10 in this day and age, brand new? Seriously, how much better can you get than that? That sounded superb. Pixel Plus 3, all the bass, all the treble, and the beauty of this is, because it's cobalt doped, I didn't show it when I was calibrating, because I'd already calibrated it, but the only thing this is down on from an SA, on my deck which is calibrated to SA, is level. It's a chrome, what do you want? But, you don't need to adjust the bias, so if you've got a deck that you can't adjust the bias, but it's a Japanese deck that's set up for an SA, then this is a good tape to buy because all you need to do is literally just record it hotter. If when you're first setting up your recording level, set it up to around about three decibels more than you actually want it to record at, and when you record it on this, it'll turn out sounding good because the biasing's pretty much the same, it's just the level that's down. So this is a good call if you can't handle a pure chrome, like a chrome Maxima or an SKCAX, uh, CD I should say, in your two head deck. So, yeah. And I really like how these look. Yeah, they look good. So, this is a two for one video, this one though. Yes, it's a two for one. Let's put all these out of the way. And let's get what's coming next. Now, if you remember, I did a video on these. Bing! And I compared these Tudor HF very favorably to a TDK AR. So good were these, and uh, so good was my prices that I had hundreds of these, and now I've got about 15 left, and I can't get any more of these, which is a shame, because you guys and gals obviously really like them. So, what to do instead? Well, bear with me just one second, because I haven't got the tape with me. Did you miss me? Right, I've got these instead. Tudor DS. Now the main thing is they look identical apart from the tape's loaded the right way around in the DS and it's loaded the German way in the HF. But uh, I've managed to get some of these now and if we look at them, I've already got one that I opened earlier, um, look very similar strangely enough. Uh, same BASF style black hubs, clear leader, these have a screwed shell though, which is nice, it's a fairly okay screwed shell. But um, I did some fiddling around trying to wonder what these were. If these HFs are like a super ferric on the lines of maybe an LH Maxima, maybe that's pushing it a bit, but around that sort of level, what BSF tape are these DS going to be? So I'm going to use my Iowa ADS950 for this because I want to do a bit of comparing and contrasting. Now. We've already sort of, you know, these hubs are very BASF and I'm sure the Tudors before are BASF and it makes sense. You know, BASF are well known in Europe for supplying OEM tape. So what I'm going to do, just out of curiosity, is I'm going to take good old BASF Ferro Extra 1 from the 90s and I'm going to bias this up in this deck so we can have a look-see. So if we just fast forward this a bit on. Okay, let's put the calibration on. Let me just turn at Mr. Camera to look at the calibration stuff. Okay, right, let's see how this goes. Right, so this is calibrated for SA. As you can see, we need negative bias, which is fine for ferric. Turn the negative or bias down, give it some level. Uh, a bit, it's quite a bit negative, that. This. But there we go, we're about right, and that's where the levels are. Yeah, I think just a little, it's just a little bit bright. Let's just turn that down a bit. Yeah, we're, we're about there. Yeah, so let's stop that now and then take it out. And let's put in this Tudor DS. Okay, I'm not going to touch anything. Let's calibrate it. Hmm, and as we can see, this needs less positive bias than the Ferro Extra. In fact, I can dial that down a fair bit. And there we go. So compared to BASS Ferro Extra, 
this is actually a brighter tape because it needs less negative bias. So let's have a see how this bad boy sounds. So I have yet another track from the YouTube royalty free library and this one is called Black Moons. Hmm, I was peaking at plus eight there at some points, but again, very, very decent type one. Yeah, Coolio Inglésius. So there we go, on my quest to try and find great cassettes that are under the radar, that are affordable and still at a price that it's worth buying to actually open them and record. Got two more for you. We've got the Cobalt Doped Pure Chrome Socky Mag and we've got a BASF loaded Tudor DS90 which has tape which seems to be better than the Ferro Extra. So what do you want? These are all available from my web store. There's a link in the description and I'll bung one at the end. But like I say, if you want to actually record on your tapes, start backing away from the main brands and look to less mainstream brands for the simple reason they've got good stuff in there and they don't have the collectability factor. So they're at a price that you can actually afford to open them up and enjoy them as cassettes. So I hope that was useful. As always, until next time, happy recording. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.